Hello there, how are you? I've been incredibly busy lately. I just spent a week shooting a video about coral and sea turtles in the Virgin Islands. That video will be out probably next month. And then I spent another week on a paleontology dig digging up camel fossils. That video will be on TikTok also probably next month. And I'm currently trying to prep things for both NoCoCon and VidCon, both of which are coming up very quickly. So I didn't think that I was going to have time to make a video this month. However, I still have contractual obligations. And for that reason, this month's video is gonna be a little bit less in depth than my usual content. We're doing a good old fashioned try not to laugh challenge, but like biology edition. I asked people on Twitter and on Patreon and the community tab here on YouTube to send me some even slightly biology related videos that would make me laugh, whether it be cute, funny animals or something silly about creationism or anything else. Just send it to me, I'll put it in a little compilation and then I'll watch it here on camera and we'll make content out of it. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm still trying to figure out how I wanna structure this video I don't know if I should like give myself a little health bar like Jacksepticeye does, or if I should just do it like Markiplier, where if I laugh, it's just over and I just continue laughing for the rest of the video. I also don't know why I'm complicating this so much. It's, it's not a hard concept. I'm gonna watch the videos. If there's something to say, I'll say it. If there's something to teach, I'll teach it. And I'm not gonna laugh. That's the whole game. And guess what? It's happening right now. So here we go. It's cute. Those are called day geckos and I love them. Nature. <laughs> that poor dog! Nothing worse has ever happened to anyone. Hey, Editing Forest here. I've never made a video like this before. And so I didn't think about the fact that I really should have been wearing headphones for this whole thing because the microphone that's picking up my voice is also picking up the videos that I'm watching. And normally that isn't an issue because when I do a Reacteria or something like that, I'm, I watch the video, then I pause it and start talking and then start the video again. So like, I've never encountered this very obvious problem before. So uh, increasingly throughout this video, I'm going to be talking during the clip, giving like live commentary. I'm just going to cut it around me talking so it doesn't sound horrible all the time, but it might sound a little bit weird sometimes when I talk and I really should have thought about that before. I'm a professional YouTuber. So we have 2.4, now this, this is approximate, remember, humans have on average 2.4 children per generation. Oh, that's true. If you but times okay. that by the, um, I think it's uh, 1.9 million years we're supposed to have been evolving for it Way gives you that. roughly i think it's something like i think it's something like nearly seven no. it's, it's, it's 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 nearly seven it isn't seven million uh seven million um what, what was he even trying to say here we have a completely fictional creature we're not quite sure what this is supposed to be um, Probably Homo habilis some sort or of something. handicapped person. What? Here we have a picture, a racist picture of a of a of a, um, a dark-skinned gentleman. They deliberately made look primitive, carrying some sort of drumstick. What? Hope he stretched before all that reaching. Pull a muscle. Yes, select again. Bible for four hundred, please. During the second plague, these amphibians came out of the water. Stephen. What are frogs? Right. What are frogs? Uh. Nope. The gun at the end almost got me, but I'm all right. I love Grand Illusions. I love that guy. Was it on the list just because it had an egg? Finally, I'm home. I can just relax. Oh my god. What? No, we're not going for a car ride. No, you pooped! 
Jerry, stop screaming! I can relate to that so much. I have had so many weird animals in this house. I have been there, dude. Immense amounts of time are required to deposit that, cement it into hard sandstone and shale, tilt it, erode it. Your minimum estimates is hundreds of millions of years. Don, thank you for your talk so far. Uh, number one, your assumption was naturalism. Yes. And your second assumption was uniformitarianism. As all scientists around the world are. Well, not all scientists. That would be a false statement, so it would. Well, all scientists I'm aware of. Really? So you've never read any creationist literature? Oh, I've read them. I don't count them as scientists. Ah, right, okay. I've seen that whole documentary, that whole thing. They take a road trip across America with a bunch of creationists and just show them all manner of evidence for the age of the Earth and evolution. And uh, it's exactly as frustrating as you think it would be. There are actually several studies that do this same thing. They take people who don't believe in evolution and they put them in a college class to learn everything they can about evolution. And a lot of times it just locks them down into their belief in creationism. And they say, okay, well, now I know all the things you believe in your religion. And, and you know, here's mine. And, uh, yeah. Cognitive dissonance, man. It is a hell of a drug. So, I want to party with that guy. Feel a little bit of glass, get some wires, another internal components. Immediately, all this is going. Some batteries, some rare metal. He's going to shake the bag and, and, and say it releases something technological. One eternity later. Because when you say something that nobody is saying, it's really easy to say that thing isn't true, right? Also, that slipper was a paid actor. Life could be a dream if you would meet me up in paradise up above. If you would tell me I'm the only one that you love, life could be a dream, sweetheart. What a great day to be everybody in that video. I've actually seen that one before. It is still funny, but that dude was mad. That big black beard like that, they do that when they're real upset. That guy was on fire. If the theory of evolution was viable, then I should occasionally, by subjecting this to energy, end up having new life. Now we go down to the store, and um, if, if I open this jar of peanut butter, Maybe not often, but on some occasion, I should find new life inside. And so, when we open the jar of peanut butter, we look in there, there's no new life. I was waiting for somebody to come flying out of that jar. I thought somebody was going to edit that and make, like, a bunch of snakes come flying out of the peanut butter or something. Uh... Two things. Number one, you didn't actually test your claim. Like, did you expect there to be a fully formed cat just sitting on top of the peanut butter or something? If there was new life, it would be microscopic. You'd have to do, like, a smear and, like, put it under a microscope and see what's going on in there. Uh, but also, more importantly, nobody is saying that that would happen. Nobody's saying that there should be new life emerging inside any old jar of peanut butter. Just like with the last guy, again... If you just say something that nobody else is saying, it's really easy to argue against it. Anyway, I've seen that clip before. I've referenced it before. I find the fact that that argument is still being used today both surprising and disappointing. But by all means, don't let my logic get in the way of your ignorance. Take a closer look at that snout. See the pipes on that rodent? The balls harden. <sighs> I shall not be defeated by fart balls. Not this day. Oh, I'm lightheaded. Oh, this guy. I have had 100 formal debates with evolutionists. And one specific challenge that they've been incapable of answering 
has to do with the Y chromosome. The Y chromosome is uniparentally inherited DNA. It's passed down on the father's side. Usually. Now it turns out, amazingly, that every single human male Y chromosome is nearly identical right. and can be traced back to one single Y chromosomal ancestor in the not so distant past. Now unfortunately for the evolutionist, when we compare the Y chromosomes between the humans and the chimpanzees, the chimpanzees being our supposed closest cousin, we are only about 35% the same when we consider overall gene content, architecture, and size differences. Right. There is no way for the evolutionary community to be able to explain such massive differences in evolutionary time. Yeah, yeah, we, we very easily can. Anybody very easily can. The Y chromosomal atom, the person from which all homo sapiens derive their Y chromosome, that dude lived between two and five hundred thousand years ago. Our common ancestor with chimpanzees, a creature that was not a chimpanzee and was not a human, but whose descendants went on to become both chimpanzees and humans, that thing lived between seven and nine million years ago. So, given the fact that mutations happen regularly and that over a longer period of time, more changes would occur, because, you know, they happen regularly. 500,000 years is going to show significantly less change than 9 million years. Half a million, 9 million. More stuff happens in the 9 million. See, this is why when we evil evolutionists go out into the universities to corrupt the minds of young Christians, one of the first things we do is teach them how to count. Why? We saw people in the streets ready to put 2018 in the rearview mirror and say hello to 2019. We also saw this dog with a banana. A festive atmosphere in the heart of downtown Orlando. Good for that dog. That banana looked great. Everybody's always down for chimps. And I, I don't, I look, I'm not saying we should exterminate the chimps. Don't get me wrong. But let's just be realistic. If chimps were everywhere and they had full freedom the way people do, we'd have that a fucking serious problem. The, the reason that white people are inferior is because they don't have enough melanin in their skin. <laughs> I just don't see what the hell's racist about dressing up like a Mexican. Mexicans have a traditional, traditional Baboons clothing. Baboons are creepy dog fucking monkey things. Uh, part of the, oh, good this is my googly favorite. moogly, look at that thing. Look at the muscles. Oh my god, they're so strong. Go to a, where well, there's a male, where, look at that, look at that. <laughs> It's exactly what the show is actually like. All right, well, <laughs> did it. That got me. <laughs> I have laughed and I have lost, and we're gonna keep going anyway. Evolution oh should just flat out be canceled just based on the fact that it's totally based in racism. Oh. If it's about survival of the fittest and we evolved from African Americans into other Americans, what about the African Americans that are still alive today? Does, does he think that the term African American is synonymous with the term black? Does he think that we think that all human life originated in America? Does he know that other countries exist? Sharp is a marble, that one. He's a maniac, maniac on the floor. And she's dancing like she's never danced before. Oh, he stepped. They do that to stir up mud in, in the bottom of, of the water. They're trying to kick up any little crustaceans or whatever that they can nibble on. But he is on dry land. Birds are dumb. A mud skipper. A fish that spends most of its life out of the sea. It can walk on land and breathe air. Ah. Its life is very different from that of most fish. I'm pretty sure mudskippers are actually goby forms.
I don't think they're in the, the dipnoi clade the way that like lungfish and stuff are. But good little dudes. Ah! Oh, this is one of my favorite videos on the internet. Look at them. Oh, they're like Muppets. Oh, they're all so happy. Oh, I love them so much. Cats suck. Look at this one in the back. He's just a troublemaker this is already. Charity begins at home. And for these young orphaned elephants, this charitable foundation is what they call home. It is the place where they discover and are taught life's lessons, experience love, and grapple with loss. And even for millions of other species, home hangs in the balance. Human actions are destroying habitats, decimating our entire ecosystem and disrupting the circle of life. And with the rise in drought cases, it is up to us to be guardians of our own natural world, save our wild species, and provide a home. <laughs> <laughs> You're just curious. You just wanted to explore your face. After you take away the bread, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, and mayonnaise, what have you got? A fax machine. <laughs> Why did that get me? That's stupid. I like stupid things though, so it makes sense. Well, that went about as well as could be expected. Uh, I laughed because I laugh all the time at everything because I don't know how to be any other way than the way that I am. Uh, and that's the video. It's the, This is the worst video I've ever made and you watched it. So what does that say about you really? Uh, and now at the end of the video, um, this is happening. Hey, do you like to use the internet? Cool, me too. You should check out NordVPN. It offers threat protection that protects you from malicious sites, downloads, trackers, and even intrusive ads. And their threat protection is always on the lookout, even when not connected to their VPN service. NordVPN protects your data non-stop, and their kill switch will make sure that your data won't be exposed even for a brief moment. And best of all, they have a strict no-logs policy, which means they won't track, collect, or share your private data either, because frankly, it's none of their business. If you want to try a VPN for yourself, or if you're just curious to know how they work, you can always go to nordvpn.com slash Labs. If you sign up for a two-year plan using that link, you'll get a massive discount plus four additional months free. And the best part is, one account lets you connect up to six different devices. So that's two years of service plus four additional months free on six different devices, all for one heavily discounted price. NordVPN has over 5,400 servers in 59 different countries, so you get an ultra-fast connection and worldwide access. And if you don't like it, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee! So if you want to protect your data without sacrificing speed for security, just head on over to nordvpn.com slash Labs and get started today. Thanks so much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video, and with that, I'm going to go away now. Goodbye!